perfectly located down and away fastball. This one probably has no chance. It's going to be a ground ball somewhere. Oh, maybe not. This ball goes 420 feet dead central. And not only that, full extension. And if you've ever seen Miggy work out, he probably takes a hundred pitches in this area versus maybe 10 in that area. He's focused on this pitch. So let's just take the hottest hitter in the last 30 years maybe and let's just feed him fastballs in an area that he not only practices the most, he's the most geared to and so your 88 mile an hour fastball down and away is more like 84 and whatever off speed pitch you throw if it's anywhere near 84, 83, 85 you've just made it much easier to handle all of that so this is a sabermetric thought process keep the ball down because they hit ground balls Granted, the ground balls are a little higher in that area, but the rule of 13 and 21, it's the reason why homers are up 25%. Because not only is this pitch less, has less speed, but any off speed pitch would pop over that. Curveball would pop, change up would pop, anything in the strike zone, any off speed pitch. There are zero off speed pitches that can be thrown in the strike zone that look like this ball flight. Zero. He might be able to throw another one like here. It's sort of possible. But it would have to be in the same speed range and then it would be in just as much danger. So this thought process of 13 and 21 makes absolutely no sense. Lose all the speed off your fastball lose all the deception possible and it matches the the downward plane matches the upward plane of the bat so absolutely everything about that fastball makes absolutely no sense yet that's what every major league club is telling every major league pitching coach to do Uncanny.